All right, welcome back to the eBay shop. My name is Corey. I'm Teresa. And we are Grams and Pops Vintage. And today we're going to talk to you about a problem that we have in our eBay shop. Right? Pops? No, <laughs> a different problem. <laughs> we're going to talk about the problem of the death pile here. It seems like no matter what we do, we have a death pile and it always seems to grow. I don't think it ever shrinks. It just grows. Mm, probably. <laughs> probably grows. And it has become a problem. And you can't see it because we put up lovely shelves behind us. So now you can't see the death pile. As with all social media, you are getting the highlights here. So you don't see the ugly back there, but we're going to show it to you today. And we think we know how to solve the problem. And it's not just listing as you might imagine, but we're going to get into that and some more in this video. But we do, we had like almost 50 sales this weekend. We did. Like it was a crazy weekend and we've got a lot to pack. So we're going to jump into that and we're going to, we're obviously not going to go through all 50, but we're going to show you some of them here. It went cha-ching, cha-ching, cha-ching. Like it was insane. It was a busy weekend. A lot of sales, sales, a lot of sales, sales from the sales. A lot. a lot of sales. Sales is you have a yard sale. The yep. sell. We sold a lot of stuff. <laughs> so... We're going to talk about a few of them here. <laughs> you struggle with that word so hard. All right, enough about me. What sold first? So slowly but surely, we're getting rid of some of our Lamax stuff from our first haul. We sold a flexible hedge grove. Hedge, hedge row. It looks like garland. It's just on a wire. It's just like the, the it looks like a toilet brush on wire. That's the best way I could describe it. You know how I, you know it's old? Got a couple of them here and it's got Kmart that's yes. how you know it's old that's really loud i'm trying to keep it away from the microphone it used to was a dollar 99 a package what did yep. we sell these for it was sold as a set and they sold for 7.99 that's pretty good inflation so we doubled our because it would have been 4.99 or 3.98 times two which would have been 7.99 yeah. doubled in price we'll take it and those ones are going out okay slowly but surely we've been selling some more little less pet shop these are out of my latest haul um, we sold the Authentic Littlest Pet Shop LPS Pet Pair Short Hair Cat. We had a little fun looking for this one. There's two that are almost identical and they're one number apart. Like this one's number 468. We had 467, which mm -hmm. also sold this weekend. Mm -hmm. And they're very similar looking with just very little difference. You want to um, know something about that? What? Those were actually pet pairs. That one and the other one we sold are actually the pairs that were in the package together, but I sold them separately. Oh, so that's why they're so similar. They actually did come together at one point. Mm -hmm. So, and, and yeah, this is out of the newest lot. It wasn't even put away yet. So mm -hmm. we didn't have it organized to where we could easily sort them out and find them yet, nope. but they were labeled and we found them and it sold for what? $9.99 for that. Mm -hmm. Littlest pet shops always surprise you. All right, so let's talk about the problem. That is not You're pops. the problem. No, no, no. Yeah, because you buy that stuff and you don't clean it and you don't sell it. I buy that stuff. <laughs> she's, she's insane. She buys no. that stuff. So the problem is we did really good sourcing over the summer. Most yep. of that is from over the summer. Yeah, and we intentionally built a death pile. Yep. Like, like we were stocking up for right now when it's winter time, garage sales are gone. Thrifting is garbage. The competition at the thrift stores goes way up. So we, we did bulk up on the death pile on purpose. Did you do some steroids? Well, the you death we pile did. Up. <laughs> <laughs> well, I bulked up from Thanksgiving. So yes, we did stock up a whole lot over the summer. There is a shelf that is actually from our first summer still that has not been listed yeah and and that's kind of where the problem lies we are finding out as we're getting into this and we do this longer the death pile it is is more what i would call the death pile is the stuff you don't pull out to list when you are listing we have a lot of stuff that's not very desirable it, it's not, not exciting it's no. not there's there's no sexy to it you don't want to list it like it's it has to be sexy to list it. Well, it has to be interesting. Oh, interesting. Not well, it doesn't sexy. have to be. And that's what we're trying to figure out yep. here is there's a lot of stuff that when you get it home, you know, it has money, you know, it was a good buy, but it just sits in the pile because you're not interested in listing it or it needs cleaned or it, it has problems that need to be disclosed in the listing. It, for whatever reason, 
it stays in the pile yep. and you pick around it when you're doing your, your listing. Yep. So I'm guilty. We'll show you what we're dealing with. I'll take you back, show you the actual death pile here. So there's our snowman we still have. <laughs> and if you don't know about the snowman, we, we have that from a previous video. Um, this is all unlisted. This is all death pile back well, here, with the exception of this, this shelving unit is actually full of silverware and stuff yep. that is listed. But everything you see back here. Oh, you should take them is, on the other side instead. Is all unlisted. This is all death pile. We got a castle gray skull up there. We do. Ooh. We got baseball bats. We got golf clubs. We got we got everything back here. And this is all unlisted. Now, just for full disclosure here, these boxes that are actually over here and that Santa, this is near our listed inventory. These are all listed, but all these boxes and Santas are still not listed as well. But that's because they're new stuff. We just brought them out of the storage unit. This stuff is all unlisted, and most of that is actually a pile of stuff we've decided we are not listing. We just also decided apparently we're not dealing with it, so we made a pile. All unlisted. This is kind of the other side of the pile because it's too big to see from one side. And you can see it just kind of keeps going. <laughs> and there's full sets of golf clubs. That's all unlisted. A lot of that is actually from our very first summer of, of picking. So lots of stuff in here. And there's actually, like way back in the corner back there, there's stuff that's not listed as well. We know, it's bad. It's really, really bad. Yep, that's a problem. Now, you're only seeing the problem in this building. Yeah, but... We have another building that's our storage unit death pile, and that makes this death pile look pretty insignificant. Well, but everything in the death pile in the other building is primarily furniture. A lot of it is big over there. Big so the furniture. Item count wise, this death pile is much larger. And most, I mean, besides the pile that we already made of stuff we've gone through and said, this is stuff we're going to keep, we're going to list, whatever. The other, most of the other boxes that are over there are closed. Closed, which is also part of our problem. They're things we don't want to deal with. We don't like listing. Hey, this whole weekend, I listed a whole lot of dress shirts. Yeah, she did list quite a few, but it's, it is something we tend to push to the side most days because we don't want to deal with it. Mm -hmm. You almost have to talk yourself into doing it. And that's kind of the problem. And that's why that pile is the way it is. We're going to talk about a few more items we sold real quick, but then we're going to talk about what we're going to do about it. Our proposed plan. Yep, the, the potential solution. You guys could share with us if we're full of it or Maybe you have a better solution we haven't thought of. We're open to it. We'll take any solution we can get, but we're going to share with you what we are planning to do. Mm -hmm. So let's get into it. What else sold? We sold. I picked up, I think there were four of these in that box. We sold a Jack Pacific Lady Paradise fashion doll. This one has red hair, green eyes, and has a beaded green dress. Yes, there were, there were four of these when we bought these at the sale that day. And they were all different. They were all kind of... They were unique. They stood out. They weren't your typical Barbie. Well, and part of it is their outfits don't come off. Like, I think they were hand beaded yeah. on the dolls. So you can't get them off. Like their hair, her hair thing that has a feather is like stick pinned into the back of her head. Yeah. She's got like a crazy karate kid bandana. She looks kind of like Rocky Top Picker with the bandana on. <laughs> <laughs> Rocky Top doesn't have red hair. So, well, there you go. If Rocky Top was a ginger, that's him. Okay. She sold for $45. Now, on a, pot, on, another, on a note about Barbies, I just put all of my Barbie doll stuff, Bratz stuff, Monster High stuff, everything on a 25% off sale. Yep. All dolls, basically, are on a sale, which is great. Hopefully, we yep. move a bunch of them. So. There's a lot being watched, but none purchased yet. Yep. We'll be sending offers this week, I'm sure. Okay, the next thing we sold was some of my favorites. We haven't sold one in a while, but we sold a John, a, an Ertl John Deere tractor. Yeah, when these, when these start going, they seem to go in spurts. We sell quite a few of them 
over a period of time. So we always pick them up when we find them. Mm -hmm. And they're pretty quick and easy to list as long as they're in halfway decent shape. We actually have three or four of this tractor. There were two identical to that and two more that are somewhat like it, but the front tires are slicks instead of treaded. Okay, so that one actually sold for how much? $8.99. Yeah, and that, we just have little four by four by four boxes that goes in, yep. so they're really easy to ship. Up next, we sold another handy cam. Um, this one was my free one. I saw it pop up in a Facebook group that's in a town not far from us, and it said free, hardly ever used, which was kind of BS because the, the handle thing on it. Yeah, it's a, I won't take it out of here. You can imagine, it's a Sony Handycam. I'll yep. put a picture up here when we talk about what it sold for. But yeah, it was the typical barely used work last time I used it type camera. It was in somewhat rough shape. The, the handle was, the rest of the camera's in great yeah. shape. Kind of with all Sony cameras. If they power up, they almost are always fully working and you can go through and test them. Cosmetically, it's in a little bit of rough shape, but functionally it, it works just like most Sony's do. So we priced it down a little bit and sold it as a bundle for how much? $109.99. For a free marketplace pickup. Yep, it was free. You gotta love picking up free money. I do. All right, so Let's, Let's talk about the solution to this death pile. I think the biggest problem we have with the death pile is, like we said, we don't like to list the boring items or the items that need attention. We tend to cherry pick the cream of the crop, and then the death pile grows full of stuff that you don't want to list. Yep, like all the jewelry that I think for that, I'm really thinking about just lotting it all up and selling it as a jewelry lot. And this is how death piles happen. So I think probably what we're going to do is... We, we list about $500 a day is what we try to always hit. And we're still going to do that. That isn't going to change. But before we can start doing our listings for that $500 a day, on at least one day a week, we're going to put a table out of 10 items. Yep. And we're just going to grab 10 items out of the death pile at random and line them up on the table, no matter the condition or what's wrong with them or what they need for cleaning or how hard they are to list. Clean them, check them to make sure, because we have we have done crappy picks before. Yep. So double check it just to make sure it's worth selling. And, and we're going to put them in order. I mean, we're going we're gonna to pick 10 items, and then we list from the front of that pile to the end yep. until they're listed before we could do our normal daily listing. And it's going to force us to do the things we wouldn't normally do. Maybe we list 10 shirts. Maybe we list... A giant drone that nobody wants to deal with because it's in a bag with a hundred parts. I mean, there's a lot of stuff like that back there that we just don't want to deal with that we're going to force ourselves to do and, and just by building that process. I am guilty of cherry picking. So I, I will think everybody is. cherry pick through and there's even been times where I've grabbed something. And put it back. And put it back. I've done it. <laughs> <laughs> it's, I don't know. I don't know why I do it. I should just pick it, list it and go. Yep. Yeah. But as you can tell, we have a real problem behind us that, that needs to be addressed. So I think we're not, we're not going to cherry pick it when we're putting it on the table. We're going to start from the front and just start grabbing items towards the back. Mm -hmm. I think we do it the other way. From the back forward? Yeah, because the back is our oldest stuff. Okay. So we'll grab items and we're just going to take them and put them on the table. So if anybody reaches out to Pops this week, he probably won't be able to answer because he's busy cleaning um, <laughs> fishing reels. Oh Lord, we have, <laughs> we have like Pretty a sure there's crate. like 20 of them back there. Well, there's more than that. There's 20 in the one crate at least. Yep, Pops will be listening. He'll be cleaning, fishing reels. So we've got a lot ahead of us, but we're gonna take it in, in bite-sized chunks. We're gonna do 10 things at a time. Well, no matter what, we still have to pull from the death pile because even if it's our 10 things we don't wanna list, we have to pull from the death pile because we haven't been sourcing. Yeah, we have no choice but to pull from the death pile. It's just when we do our $500 a day worth of listings, we cherry pick mm -hmm. because we want to get those listings up. We want to get them done. We don't want to do it $2 at a time. So we really cherry pick when we're doing that. This will force us to, to also have a section of stuff that we have to list that we can't cherry pick. That's just kind of predetermined. We have to list that no matter what its problems are. So Correct. I think that's going to help us whittle that pile down and make some room again. Yep, and I'll be competing for part of that against Kevin Common, the Wilt Picker, because I have two huge, what, four foot long by two foot wide by two foot high 
Tupperware? Tupperware totes. We have a ton of Tupperware. I found another pickle container. I need to get it listed because I list those and those sell in like five minutes. Yeah, that's well, a lot of the Tupperware we do pick up is not just the normal nope. clear lid Tupperware. It's, it's more special. And a lot of times the Tupperware we list does sell pretty quick. Mm -hmm. And and it's not always the two, three dollar stuff. A lot of it's 10, 15, 25 dollar mm -hmm. stuff. And it sells super fast. It's just, it's kind of boring. So it doesn't get listed. It gets left in a tote. Part of it is, is some people don't, when they put their stuff on the garage sale, they don't clean it. So I have to take all that Tupperware in the house and wash it. Yep. Because, yeah, some of it's nasty. Yep. Well, we've got a whole, like, tub over here of, like, Snap-on and Mac Tool hats that are not listed because they're so full of dog hair. It's going to take me a week they with a out. lint roller just they to get them clean. And they're good hats. They're brand new. It's just I think they were stored with a husky. <laughs> like, they're covered in dog hair. So that is our process. That is our proposed solution to our death pile. What do you do to list the items that you bought because you know they're worth money, but you really don't want to list them? Yep, we're gonna we're gonna force ten items a day as non-optional. That's our solution. On top of what we normally do, we'll see how it works out, and we'll let you know. Maybe I'll do a short, a YouTube short on our first 10 items and show them listed. Grams is getting all content creator-y. I like it. I don't know how to do it. Do it. <laughs> I don't know how to do it. I'll show you how. <laughs> Maybe I'll do a face, uh, a YouTube live and everybody can watch me clean them and list them and we'll see. But let's talk about some more items that we sold. Well, before we do, we actually discussed this a little bit in the house before we came out to record today and we could see a few issues with this method. Or actually we could see a few issues if this method works. We see a few problems that it might create. We're gonna talk about those next, but we do have a few more items going out. So what sold? The next two items are somewhat the same similar, but I'm gonna do one at a time. We sold a 2011 Mattel WWE, the world's most strongest man, sexual chocolate, Mark Henry. There's Marky Mark. And no, not Marky Mark. Marky Mark was a small white guy. This is a very large black guy. This if, is sexual chocolate. If you turn him around, he is missing his hair. He's been scalped. <laughs> he's got he got a hole in the back of his head where his hair used to be. Yep. So he's missing a, a hair piece. <laughs> he wears a hair he piece. He wears a toupee. Yes. Okay. So Mr. Sexual Chocolate. He sold for nine dollars and ninety nine cents, and he was out of the ones that I listed. Imagine what he could sell for if he had hair. The next one that sold, we sold Mattel WWE Basic Series The Rock wrestling action figure. Another wrestling figure. There's The Rock right there. Dwayne Johnson is his name for those of you who are not WWE fans or human. He's in like or every. He is in a lot of movies now. Every third movie made in the last ten years. Because <laughs> he's even started to be in. Was he in the Fast and the Furious movies? Yes. Yeah, those are my movies. Yeah. Everybody knows who The Rock is. How much did he sell for? He sold for seven dollars and ninety-nine cents. He's not as he's not as desirable as sexual chocolate. That's what the ladies say. <laughs> you ain't chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> no, white chocolate. Okay, the next thing we sold came out of our picker pick. We sold a vintage Swarovski crystal rosebud gold tone brooch pin. It's a teeny little brooch. You know, it is teeny. I have an issue with the word brooch. Oh, with the whole word? Yeah. Okay, let's hear it. So brooch, if you think of like broasted chicken, it's B-R-O-A-S-T, right? But when you say brooch, it's B-R-O-O-C-H. So you're saying it should be brooch? Yes. Well, we sold a brooch for how much? <laughs> we sold a brooch for $19.99. I always spell it wrong because I think it's B-R-O-A-C-H, but it ain't. $19.99 for the brooch. Yep. Take that, Webster's. Yep. So, what potential problems do we have with listing our death pile the way we thought? We are listing our $500 a day right now, and even at that pace, we are outgrowing our current inventory system. Meaning, we don't have anywhere to put items a lot of the time. We do small stuff. If we cherry not pick, big stuff. yeah, if we cherry pick and do silverware and Littlest Pet Shop and small items, we can always find a place for them. 
but there's a lot of stuff that we just don't have room for there well we talked about it in like five videos in a row we were pulling like Lamax and department from 56 the from the us. table because hey, they didn't get put away i put those all away now yep so that's a problem i can see if we pick up the pace listing we're also going to pick up the pace of running out of room and not having anywhere to go with mm -hmm. that i will say slowly but surely lately we have been selling a lot of our bigger items so my shelves that hold boxes instead of totes have started to clear up and i think i can combine them down into like two or three shelves versus four or five shelves yep. so i think that will help some and then i just have to invest in more clear totes we also have a problem of like i showed you the little pile by the door as we go through our inventory and we start sorting through our purchases mm -hmm. some of that death pile just isn't stuff that's listable nope. some of it we're not gonna want to list because of condition price some of it just doesn't have a sell-through rate to where it's going to sell well and it was just a bad buy so we have the challenge of what do you do with the stuff you're actually not going to list because it can't get put back in the death pile which is typically what we would do yep so we're gonna i think our solutions is one of one of three solutions for that if it's non ebay listable we have three solutions marketplace we can list it on facebook marketplace we can donate it because you know we do have a local thrift store that or we have two local thrift yeah. stores that we can donate to and you know just because we can't sell it doesn't mean that they won't sell it and still make money i mean it's donated to them so they they would make money if they sold it and then the obvious is if it's trash put it in the trash yep and i know somebody was talking about you doing a big burn pile yeah a whatnot burn pile so we well, will not that's... be doing a whatnot, but we may do a burn pile. <laughs> that is another option. We could do a fire sale on whatnot and and just get rid of a lot of stuff that way. But that creates a lot of extra work and packing as well. And we're not actually approved to sell on whatnot. Nope. And not really interested in going through the process or doing that anyway. Not yet. It's just not, not in the cards right now. So the one thing I don't want to do is say we're going to donate it and then have that pile over there because that's that pile started out as we're going to have a garage sale no we no, got rid of that, that pile, pile started as we're going to have a garage mm -hmm. sale and then you cleared it out and that was now the donate pile yep i need to just go through it and load it up in the car and take it donate piles around here just means stack it high enough to stack more on it they never go anywhere it's here some of that is my stuff I have to take in the house. It's as high as the bench. Like that first stuff right there, that's stuff I got to take in the house. That other little tote, that's stuff that I got to take to the office because it's electronics for our escape room. I have excuses for everything. Yeah, Teresa saying she's going to build a donate pile and go donate it is like Teresa saying she's going to bring a world map home and start marking locations <gasps> we sell I forgot stuff. the map. You didn't forget it. You were never going to do it. Yes, I am. <laughs> yes, I am. If Today, in, when we go to town, I'm stopping to get the map. If intentions actually made things happen. Okay. So, the other issue with the way we do this is we do have a limit, or a limit, uh, a goal of listing $500 a day. Um, if we do 10 items, and those 10 items are worth only $15 a piece, but they take time to clean, that yep. takes time away from listing stuff that we know is going to sell and sell for probably decent money. Well, and just in general, it's time consuming, right? Mm -hmm. It takes time. So we have to account for that. And I think one way we account for that is how we always have. And we maybe we do that 10 item day on Thursdays when we would normally go sourcing. I'm about to marry my niece. Well, we'll have to go later. That'll give, that's a good day then because we could do it on Thursdays and that'll motivate us to get it done quick so that we could go see the grandbabies. So, you know, there are problems with, our solution to our problem <laughs> <laughs> there yes there are there generally is when we come up with a solution but I, it's the best we have so far that's kind of how we're going to work it mm -hmm. and we're going to try and get to the bottom of it if it goes smoothly i think we move it up to two days a week we do that 10 items and we'll see how it goes i would like to get it up there to where before spring we're actually through this death pile one day a week is not going to get us nope. through the death pile. Nope. Because we're, what are we, let's see. We have all of December, all of January, February, March, and garage sales start in April. So if I, 
We got that's 20 weeks. Item. No, wait, hold on. Yeah, 20. That's only 200 items. That's 200 items, and that won't even touch that pile. Well, but like I said, we still do have to go through it. We have to list our normal stuff. That has to come out of the death pile because we're not sourcing. Yep. And that doesn't include our storage units, which we have to process this winter, yep. too. So we've got a lot of work ahead of us. We'll have to step it up, but I think we're going to step into it small and do one day a week, see how it goes, and we're going to have to scale that. We'll have to scale that. Mm -hmm. Eventually, we will get it figured out, but we're open to we'll, solutions. We'll figure it out. We always do. So, all right. We do have a few more items that need to get out of here, so what do we got next? We sold a Christmas by Krebs pink with gold glass hand decorated ornaments they are vintage yep there's them and we've sold these ones before we sold one similar they were peach they were peach yep a couple boxes of those same brand same box and everything almost same decoration just slightly different color yeah keep your eye out for these christmas by krebs um those ones we sell a lot of the other brands yep. we don't necessarily do really good on but the christmas by krebs mm -hmm. ones for some reason those ones sell fairly fairly decently yep and these ones actually sold for how much $15.99. $15.99. And I think we've showed how we pack these before. We yep. wrap them in bubble, then cardboard, then bubble, then we put them in a box. And we've never had any break, break broke yet or return. So we'll keep shipping them that way till we have a problem with it. Okay. The last thing I was surprised when I pulled them out of, they came out of our storage, our latest storage hall, um, and amongst all the movies that they had, we sold, according to Jim, the TV show, the third and fourth season. Yep, these guys here. And feels like there's multi DVDs in each one. There so. are, I'm pretty sure there's five and five yep. or four and four. Yeah, they're heavy. But two seasons of According to Jim, which I wouldn't have thought would be that popular of a show, but mm -hmm. those sold for how much? The fourth season sold for $29.99. Okay. The third season sold for $39.99 for a total of $69.98 with free shipping. $69. Five bucks to ship it two seasons of According to Jim. So apparently watch out for seasons of According to Jim because those those did well. Those did. We had some really weird movies that we listed that have sold Those are the ones that always fairly sell good, quick. The weird ones. Yep. So, all right, that's it for, uh, for what we're going to pull and pack today uh, for this video. So we're going to get these done and we're going to get out of here so we can actually start working on the things we've said we're going to think about working on. Yep. See you guys next time. Hasta la vista, baby.